man. Let me tell y'all one thing that sting in the fitness industry is near on your nipple, baby. Bring that intro. Oh, you get it. Yeah, breathing kind of hard. Just finished the set, as you can see. And I think I want to go ahead and make a song with that nip on your nip. Nip on your nip was keep it simple. With that nip on your nip. Nip on the. Feels good to laugh. Feels good to have fun. All right, what we doing? Right, who am I? Petey Pop! No, I'm gonna stop. Who am I? I'm the first star of fitness and you're back with One Swole Generation. Welcome back, you two. This is the completion of week one of my 30 days of doing an exercise. It's called an Army Roar. All right, so let me highlight a couple things before we move forward. I started out at um, 212. And today, I'm at 204. Alright, and I'm still breathing hard because I'm recovering from the 30 I just did. What I said in the first video was I could only do 7 sets of 15, which is 105. So, after this week, um, about 2 days ago, I got into sets of 4 sets of 25. So that means I'm getting better. Also, my form got better. What I started noticing is... When I was going back, I was kind of like tapping my the back of my head on the ground. You definitely don't want to be hitting your head against the ground, cause concussions and other things that you just don't want in your life. So, now that my form is better, um, another thing that I learned also was the positions of my hand. And I felt like, for me, I wanted to slap the ground. But, whenever I'm slapping the ground, my body is not coming all the way up parallel straight up and down, parallel, straight up and down. So what I start practicing is for my hands to be straight out, this will bring me forward, keeping my form tighter. The next thing I want to point out is, I can say that this can be considered um, a high intensity interval training exercise. That's hit for you guys that don't know. So you're doing four sets of 25, each set, you're going hard, you rest for 30 seconds to a minute based on your fitness level. If you got a high, high fitness level, you can probably only rest for 20, 30 seconds. But if you're just getting back into this, my recommendation would be to rest for at least 45 seconds to one minute. Something else, stomach muscles and hydration. You must hydrate if you're gonna take on any type of ab challenge. One of the quickest places for me that I always notice is if I'm not properly hydrated, I will cramp in the abdominal area, in the stomach area, in the core area. area. Um, so this concludes week one. I am at four sets of 25 reps per army roar. Um, my hand placement will be different in the future, thanks to my man at, at the job, John. He uh, corrected me on it. Of course, he used to be an old Army vet. Um, my weight has went down by uh, six, seven pounds, and that's not water weight because I'm still drinking close to maybe um, somewhere, I, I want to say close to a gallon, but not less than 75% of a gallon. I'm kind of up there and what I drank and water per day. The, the shirts, the shirts, don't forget to go to the website. That's oneswolegeneration.com. We have various uh, designs and shirts up there, such as we got two stringers, Cybertonian blue, and another in the blackity black, black, black. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we got some red t-shirts, some gray t-shirts, and um, some v-necks, red, black. So don't be afraid to hit it up. All right, until next week, guys, which will be the end of week two, stay fit, stay focused. 
One more set, one more rep, we out. Nip, 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 n